Good Vokra Boysai. Ah, what a Shabbos, what a Shabbos. Before I even start the emails, I had a tremendous chus to have by me. I think it's the first time, I have to ask my wife, first time, a real Hasidish family. Streimel, the Bekiches, two sons, Bochum. And I did not have Gala, but we had, we had everything. We had the Chalaki kid running around without a yamake, unken yamake. By them also, they have the same issues. You think it's just us, the kids running around. They, they also, I, le- Bemis, I, learned, I learned something very special. I, I didn't discuss it with, with Yossi, but we could bring him up here and ask him. I realized that we're mamish the same. At the end of the day, there's like few things that, you know, they have a little bit more Yerushimayim than us and a few things, and we have a little bit more Yerushimayim than then a few things. It's the same songs, it's the same things, the same shpacha, it's the same problems with the children, the same, same exact thing. We, we, we're there, we worship the same, it's the same thing. It's just, they wear a furry hat that cost $10,000. We, we wear one that cost $100. It's the same. It's literally the same. You have that the strama will cost $10,000. I just learned this. $10,000. Between six and ten. Depends how... You go. The shaitel. The, and then if they wear shaitels, it's, it's the same. Yossi, you margish that? You thought you are going to come and teach us a few things. It's the same nigunim. Same zmiras. The same everything. It's like he was in shock. They don't say keser? What, 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 what's going on here? There's a few things that you manage, but yeah, so one pasuk here, one pasuk there, it's the same thing. Uh, by Moshe Rifkin, he says, thank you for making learning the daf Yomi Gishmak. When you did the Brasimila demonstration a few days ago, there was blood streaming out. Was that real blood? A few people asked. People came over to me in the street, they said, where's your bandage? What's going on? No, it was fake blood. Duh, is this the first time you're watching this year? I can't tell you, Doc, but it happened. It was in, okay, it was between the two gloves. It took me an hour to get the blood in there because it was spilling out all over the place. But the kids, it was there. I didn't see the bandage on your finger the following day, so I thought maybe it was fake. But if so, what do you make it out of? I'm remembering the demonstration by Yuma. My name is Eli Gennad. I'm 10 years old. First of all, it was so cool meeting you in Brooklyn. It was mamish amazing. My question is, I've been doing the daf since Megillah. I haven't missed only the parental supervision daf. By the way, today, it's very, very strong parental, parental supervision guidance. I'm, I'm just saying, you can do like the first part, the first part of Amad Aleph, but then we start going heavy into Haaril. Um, that's why Yossi's kids aren't here today. My parents think I should go. They're watching, by the way. He doesn't have, but they're watching in my house. And my, they told my son they want to watch a piece of video. And they, they, let's learn some Tyra. Kids are the trailer. My parents think I should go to sleepaway camp for a half. I've never been to sleepaway. But I don't want to miss doing the daf with my father every night. Please help me make a decision. Sincerely, L-E-G. Anybody have a recommendation for this kid? Go to sleepaway camp, you say anybody? <coughs> he doesn't. He, oh. Oh. Says Menachem, we should start a MDY sleepaway. First, we have to start an MDY yeshiva. Then we could. Huh? Oh, broadcast the sleepaway. I, I say, you're a kid, he's only 10 years old. You have to have fun. I'm very proud of him, LEG, that he's doing the daf. But Lamai said, then they have to go to sleepaway camp. Maybe you can make it work. I don't know, maybe your father can come visit you every day. Maybe we could do Zoom together. Yeah. We have to get one of those TVs to this camp. I don't know what camp it is. We'll have to make sure something happens. By the way, some, some guy, I, I didn't put the emails, but some guy wrote to me, Yishkar, for the unbelievable demonstration in Brismila. I never, I've been going to Brisbane for 40 years, watched it, never understood what they were doing there. Thank you for the explanation. The next guy writes, he's from Lakewood. How dare you make such a demonstration? Disgusting. Don't ever do that again. Kids are okay. Dear Belly, thanks for changing me and my entire family's life for the better. Keep it up. Morty Gable. And here is Chaim Land visiting a friend in Lag Ba'imer in the hospital. Doing the daf. The Koilal is sponsored by Anonymous. The Schus Shiduchim. Lilu Nishmas. Rabbi Zachary Shimon. Hakoyim Balashtain. Zechat Ali Brocha by his kids. That's the first part of the Koilal. Second part of the Koilal. Aaron Freeman. The Schus continued. Panos is the Shmaya and the Rebelli. Third. The boy family, Lunishmas, Rebellio, Zuchan, Rebbe, 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 Rebbe,
Eli Weinberg, Allah Shalom, a dear friend, family, family friend, who suddenly passed away at the age of 59 and loved them, the wife was proud to be part of this amazing Daf Yomish year. Fourth, Parnas Achoydesh, the Walkenstein family, in Kemach, in the main Torah, in Kemach, in Kemach, in Torah. By the way, before I just saw Rabbi Schoenberg, I wanted to talk about it on Friday, which I should have talk, spoken about it. He wrote an amazing article about, right up my alley, about danger and what you're allowed to do, and how scuba diving fits into it, and, and, and surfing, and, and the paragliding, and, and sky, all these things that I... Yeah, now I'm very mocked not to do it anymore because of his article. But I was in there, all this Gishmaka stuff. Don't talk about shark diving there, but okay. Every so and so hours you die if you do single engine planes it has there, all the crazy stuff. Motorcycles. Givaldi. Okay. Uh correct for the great article. Paras uh, is number six, anonymously. Leading Nishmas Chai Bas Yosef. Paras Achoidis number seven, anonymously. As a Karnas Atoyit Hashem, that's Chus for the continued health and bracha. Today's partners is Brian Shapiro and family, Lezecha Nishmat, Imi Maroti, Henya Bat, it says Bas, this is Stira. Okay, we have to do the whole thing again. Lezecha Nishmas, Imi Maroti, Henya Bas, Rabbi Ram Dov. You either go with the Bat or you go with the Bas. We can't have it both ways, Rabbi Isai. You can't do Marati, Nishmat, and then Bas. Sorry. By Mordechai Zapaznik, Lezecha Nishmat, his grandfather, Rabbi Yisroelai, is a Pazik Zechorin Bro. Rabbi Shol Ari Ben Rabbi Avraham Yishai Zechorin L'Bracha Meiz Neshom Aven Aliyah. Also, Mazel Tov to my father and I am being Messiah Mizel Steinus in honor of the Yorzai. In honor of Belly, shout out to Rabbi Noam Fix. You should be benched. Also, Nachman Seltzer. I don't know what that is. The Schus Meir Zelig Ben Chava, a 90 year old survivor who needs a Rafu Shlema. The Schus Meir Zelig Ben Chava, a 90 year old survivor. Okay. Everybody, here we go. We are holding. You can look at the chart for a second. We are holding like six lines from the bottom, seven lines. Maskula Rav Sheisha, Reder Avidi. So we had these psukim. Very interesting. We're talking about a pasuk. Teisha be made tahara, but called kodesh leisiga. We're talking about a yilada, a woman who gives birth. Ah, shmak. Look at that new design today. There's a pasuk discussing a yilada. A woman who gives birth. We're going to be discussing a little bit about her today. Parshat Azriya. And it says she shouldn't touch any Kaidish until she becomes Tar. What's Kaidish? So we decided it's Truma. This Pazik is talking about Truma. Says, Masculine Rav Sheisha Bereda Ravidi, Mimatis Amris Truma, Ksiva Hacha. You could say that we're talking about Truma, Vatanya, Daber El Bene Yisrael. Here's the Pazik in Tazriya. The, the beginning of the parasha. Daber El Bene Yisrael, Leymar Isha Ki Sazriya, Viyoldo Zacha. His birth is Achor. But Tomashiv is Yom. Can they need us? Dvoisa Titma. So it says first speak to Klai Yisrael. Then it says specifically a woman. Ain liel b'nei Yisrael giyores v'shivcham shucharis minay. And how do you know the pasuk is referring to a giyores who gives birth? She has Toma. Maybe giyores and a slave that are that is freed. She gives birth. She doesn't have Toma. Tamadoy me isha. Any kind of woman. Bisa gadai dochbe Truma giyores v'shivcham b'nei Yisrael Truma. You know we're talking about Truma. Does a Giyaris ever eat Truma? Tell me how a Giyaris could eat Truma. Who did she marry? She married a Kayan. She can't marry a Kayan. So her father obviously is not a Kayan. The only way to start eating Truma if your father is not a Kayan is to marry one. She can't marry one. She's a Giyaris. Says Gemara Amarava, Veloi, Vaksiv, Bechol Kaydash Lisiga. Right? Back to the first Pasuk. Bechol Kaydash Lisiga. And we're talking about that this woman who he just described who cannot marry a coin, cannot be talking about truma, but it says, B'chol Kaddish Lisiga, L'Rabois HaTruma. So, it's very interesting. One of the very interesting halachas, Yishkoyach Tamati Middeldorf, who ordered 10 pies of pizza, he's here early, to encourage all the kids to come tonight to the special shear. <laughs> okay. A very big influx of kids. I'm going to leave the pies outside. Seder. We'll start feeding them outside. <laughs> outside. Whatever. You know what the Chazinah said? That you cannot be harmed by Torah, by Gemara, by Torah. I took uh, Yossi last night to see Rabbi Pesson, who knows Kala Tarikula, and Rabbi Didi Kramer, Kala Tarikula. They fahir, both fahir their children. By the way, he has two excellent, crazy. They know Misechtas, these boys. Chazinah's kids, they were fahiring them in the Darim, in Megillah, Tainas, they knew everything. 
So he asked them both the same question. They both said the same thing that the Chazim said, you cannot be damaged by Torah. But, you know, they have minogim, so you can't, uh, different things. The kids aren't used to it. Yeshivas, they take it out. It's a whole thing by them. All right, Zogdi Gimbar. Akal Parmet says, L'Rabo Yisat Truma. So let's, for just for a moment here, this amazing halacha, a woman gives birth to a male a boy. She's Tomei for seven days. And then she gets 33 freebies. She, no matter what happens, any dam she sees, she's completely tahar to her husband but not to Truma. She, she cannot eat Truma for those 40 days. If she gives birth to a daughter, then she has 14 days that she's Tmeya, not seven, double the amount of a boy, that she, no matter what she's Tmeya, 14 days. This is all with their eyes, so obviously we don't go like this. And then she gets 66, double than the 33 of the boy, 66 freebies. You may tire up, no matter what. As much dam as there is, she's muttered her husband. She has to go to the mikvah, obviously. Muttered her husband. During those 33 days or 66 days, she's a full young. She went to the mikvah for her husband, but she's still tmeya, bin a to truma. She's a 33 day full young, a 66 day full young. Arika, Aruka, 66 days aruch, very, very long full young, a 66 day where she cannot eat truma. For her husband is a kaya. But it's a, how do you know? So, so we're talking about truma. But you said, how can we be talking about truma? If we're talking about a giyayra, she can't eat truma. No. So, market this, market this, whatever. The lushan is a little bit better. Yeah, we're talking about a giyayra. Part of it is talking about a giyayra who can't marry a kaya. She's tmeya. Part of it is talking about a, a woman who can marry a kaya. Don't ask me cashes from there. So now look at this chart. We have here three psukim. If, I don't know if you could tell. The blue line separates the top pasuk. That's a pasuk that we used ish ish. I'm going to use it again today. It says on the bottom, Adasher Yitar. Okay, that's one tahara. Then it says, Uva Shemesh Vitar. We're familiar with that pasuk. And then the bottom one, Ad Meloy Simetar. So why do we need three? They're all by Truma. Why do we need three? Okay, so right now we don't have a trichusa really. This is just telling us that we, we don't know how and where. We're going to get to it. We're going to come back to it in a second. When does a person become tahar from for truma? You need hair of shems. You go to the mikvah, it's not enough. You have to dunk in the mikvah. But what you don't need is the next day, right? Because yeah, there's no carbon or nothing. You need, you need shkia. Because, I say shkia, I mean whatever it is. It says, whatever this man is. It means after nightfall. Because, so if you have the middle one, the middle pasuk, I would think when a person doesn't need a carbon, like we, we spoke about this, just to see this chart again, because it's very important, a zav, who has two emissions, even on the same day, he has to have seven akim, but he doesn't bring a carbon. The guy who has three, he's a carbon guy. Okay, so I would think that this Pasuk is talking about, how do you mean by carbon? By kapara. A zav, a matzoyer who's a musgar, a woman who gives birth. Well, no, yeah, fine. Avod, the bar kapara, a madam kapara, but if it's the guy in the three X's, or a Mitzayra Mukhlat, the more severe Mitzayra who has to bring a carbon afterwards, Eim Adam Isaac Kapara, he can't eat Truma. Until the following day where he brings a Kapara, because Rachmana, Ad Milois. So now we go back to this Pasuk, the, the light blue all the way in the bottom. That Pasuk says, until the end of the day, you don't, have to, you don't have to wait until tomorrow when you bring a carbon. Nightfall. And now, now we're going to circle around to the first pasuk. Ish, ish, mizer, adash yitor. What do we do with that? Because Rahman ad meloi sav amina afilu beloi tefila. Yeah, you and I are reading this pasuk. Ad meloi simei tahara doesn't mention anything about going to the mikvah. When the days are over, the tahara days are over, then you can start eating truma. I <laughs> have amina. You don't have to dunk yourself. Because Rahman adash yitor. We'll have tana the poligalei the tana the very shmol. So yesterday we're talking about tana the very shmol. The Omar Bezov Bashalash Riyas. So in the first pause, you see the top part, Ish Ish Mzer Aaron, Vutsarua Izov. You remember? The two greens. We said Tsarua Zov. He's talking about a lighter kind of Mitsaira, a Muzgar. Zov, the lighter type of Zov, only two Riyas, not three. 
No carbon. But a court, that's the very Rishmal. That's the one that we brought yesterday. But what about a, the other one? The other man, the Omer, argues and says, the Omer, Bezov, Bas, Shalish, Riz. No. Zav in green is talking about the guy that had three Riyas. And the Metzor is talking about not a Muzgar, but a Muchlot. He has to bring a carbon. And the what? So therefore, we're talking about a situation where you have to bring a carbon. So what's the Pasuk talking about? Rabbi said, we know that Truma is Beher of Shemesh. That we established. Truma, you get to eat Truma at nightfall. But if the Pasuk is talking about carbon, so what are we talking about? Good luck to all the guests. Shlaimi, good luck. I got to bring you up here one day. You want to come over now? Who else? We got Rabbi Belsky. That's you. Shalom Aleichem. The Mechitin is here. Everybody's here today. Wow, give out. Okay. So, if the Pasuk is not talking about Truma, it's talking about Kachim. So listen to the question now. If it's talking about Kachim, you hear the Chap? We're talking about three Riyas. We're talking about a Karban. It cannot be Truma, because Truma you can eat right away at night. You don't have to wait. So what is it that you have to bring? So we're talking about Kachim. If so, why do I need two psukim by Here, here are the two psukim. Ishish, that we just spoke about. But there's another one. So why do I need two psukim when it comes to Kachim? Says the Gemara, If it would only say, by your letters, if it Mishum the Meruba Tumasa. She has crazy amount of days of Tuma, either 40 or 80, but there's a lot of days where she can't eat Truma. Kachim. Ava Bizov, a Azov, what? It's a, it's a week, garnished. Vikaz, Rahman Bizov, the Lutum Klala. Azov, once he's Tame, he's Tame. There's no exceptions to the rule. Aval, you let this aim but there's exceptions to the rule by your lettuce. She's tummy somewhat, but she's mama. She has freebies to her husband. So we have it. It says, That's a positive referring to a sheretz that touches a kli. You bring it, you turtle in the water. Says Gemara Lomali, isn't that the same thing as a regular tfulyayim? Omer abzeira linagia. Okay, enachanami. Now we're talking about a new halacha, touching. That if a a kli touches truma, or a tful yayim touches truma. So it's not only also to eat, it's also to touch. We're talking about touching. The sanya of I would think that the tuma applies to everything, even Meister Shani. Look at the, I don't know if you could see, if it's not, if it's not clear, the top in the gray. Look at the pasuk. V'tame ad ha'ere v'tahar. So there's a tame and a tahar. Which one is it? You tame to the, the evening, you're tar to the evening. So what is this? We're gonna we're gonna split it up a little bit. I would think that's my sashani tamalim of tar. Ivatar yachalakal, tamalim tame. So it's like a contradiction, sort of. Tame tar, what is it? So okay, it's at kan la maiser kan truma. We're gonna go, you know what's coming up, right? The switcheroo. Vitar means right away. And what be, what can you eat right away? Meiser the lowest on the the lowest level. They tell me how to, you go to the mikvah, yeah, you go to the mikvah at twelve o'clock in the afternoon. So the Torah says vitar vitar. You're right now you tar. What could you do? You tar. You could eat meiser sheni, but it says vitar me at the erev. But you're not tar right away. You have to wait until the evening. Okay, don't worry about it. That's for truma. So the Torah is telling you two things. Says the Gemara. <laughs> Check this out. So new technology. I'm not, I don't want to spoil you. I don't want you to get used to this so fast. As I is, we're not doing it again. Perhaps the Tome is Truma and the Tome is Meiser Shani. Says the Gemara, Mr. Broke, the Chamira, Achila, the Truma, Achila, the Meiser. Achinami, you see there's more chumra when it comes to truma by achil. Achinami, chamir, negia the truma, negia the maizer. So too, when it comes to touching, truma is more chumr. We both say, negia the truma, mehachanafka, bechokhoidish leistiga, hazar Allah, oichel.
So, B'chakadish Leitigah, we're talking about the woman who gave birth. She's again a Tful Yoim. Aruch. She has 33 days or 66 days of Tful Yoim category. And over there it tells us uh, that she can't eat. Perhaps it's talking about she can't touch. Going to the Beis eating Kachim. If you go into Beis Hamidosh, when you're Tomei, you're Chayiv Kares, it could cause you to die. says the Gemara, since there's no concept of dying by touching something, you only die when you eat something. So it has to be food, eating, by the woman. So why does the Torah say Negiya? The person who can't eat, can't touch. All right, here we go. Here's the sugya. If you are a parent and you're makbid, this is the time. Hold on. Where is I need uh, my other cup. Oh, it is here? Oh, fine, give all the... This is it? You scrunched my prop. Okay. Petsu Adaka. Says the Gemara Petsu Adaka. We, we had in the Mishnah that if a person is a Petsu Adaka, he has an injury on his bris, and he has to get divorced, but he didn't get divorced. So until he gets divorced, he, his wife could eat truma. Says the Gemara, man tanim shtamers to be a psula de raisa achla, but she's in the wings to be with somebody that's usher to her. So how could she still eat truma? So it must be the man that says it's not a problem. Omer Shnuya, we had this sugya, we had where a person, a kayan, marries a divorcee, so she's mishtameres lebi psula. They can't be together because she's a divorcee. Could she eat truma or not? The fact that she's about to and she's waiting to be over Isser, does that ruin it for her? Rebbe Lazar, Rebbe Shimini. And we're going according to Rebbe Lazar, Rebbe Shimini, Rebbe Lazar, Rebbe Rebbe Shimba Yechai, that it's not a problem. Achla, even though Yemishna Meris Labi Yipsula, she could eat Shruma. So over here also. She was married to a man, everything was good, a regular chasana, the guy was healthy, he was never in a car accident, he got messed up. And now Allah has to get divorced. But he doesn't want to get divorced. He's waiting to find the heter, this, that. Meanwhile, she wants to eat truma. But on the tzad that they can't be married ever, so she's waiting to be with somebody that's also her. Rabbi Shem Bechai says it's fine. Rabbi Shem Bechai says it's fine. You don't have to go so far. Even Rabbi Meir, who argues on Rabbi Lazar and Rabbi Shem and he says that Mishtamer Shlubi Yipsul cannot eat truma, Shani Yacha over here is different than Shikfar Achla. She's married, she's, re- she's used to eating truma, everything's good. Let her continue. We had this for a number of times. Rebbe Lazar, and what is he going to say? You don't say such a svara. Just because she started eating, she, she should continue. So if so, what about a regular Israelis who married a kayin and then her husband dies? While she was married, she ate truma. So because her husband dies, she's allowed to eat truma forever. We know that once he dies, she's not allowed to eat truma. When she's married to Kayan and the Kayan dies, so whatever allowed her to eat the truma, Paka flies away. But the one who married her still married her. The guy's still alive. And he wasn't, and they're not divorced. And Mela, she could eat truma according to this mandama. What does it mean, Petsua Daka? He was injured on the Beitzim. Even one. And even if it had, like, got injured by a thorn, by a needle, dissolved, shrunk. Even if a small part of it went missing because he got injured, that's a Petsuadaka and the sword. But well, the main, I think, idea here is. Someone who his injury caused them not to be able to have children. That's a Petsuo Daka. That's the Yisoy. We're going to see that if it heals and this and that, it's probably not such an issue. 
What? You only have one, you still have children. It depends how, it depends why. If it got injured, let's say in, a, in an accident, and he has one more, the Gemara holds, in certain, you know, if, if medicine says differently, it's different, but the Gemara holds, it seems like that certain injuries, even on one, cause, cause the whole, the whole, uh, the system to shut down. So that, that, you know, I didn't, I didn't have a lot of time, there's machlaikis in it, and we're going to get to it soon. Remind me. Over Rabbi Shmuel, Benoi Yisro Bilchem and Breika. Shamati Bibi Chacham Bekerem Biyavna. Choshe Ein Lo Yelo Beitz Achas. If he only has one, here this is what we're discussing. Ein Lo Yelo Sris Chama Vekasher. Sris Chama is. I, somebody gave me a sefer, a very long sefer in PDF, on all these things. So if anybody Chas Shalom, and somebody came over to me, and he's going through treatments and everything, and, and it's neged to him this this kind of sugya. If doctors do it to you and and etc. It's a whole safer, 200 pages with a lot, a lot of detail and a lot of halachas and, and diagrams and everything. He says, Sris Chama is called the Kleinfelter syndrome. So you ever heard of this, Kleinfelter? It's a, gen- it's a genetic syndrome. It's a genetic, right. That's what it is. Sris Chama is somebody who's born with a certain, he said that's what he thinks it is. The point is that it comes from a, a genetic disorder or a disease. So a guy who only has one, it's not a problem, he's still kosher. He's talking about disease versus losing one. He's like the disease. And maybe that's what the Gemara is saying. Like Avi, it doesn't hurt his ability to have children. Ask the Gemara, okay, what about this? A guy, this is a little squeamish. I'm, I'm not kidding. My Chavrusa asked me to read from here, like for the rest. He couldn't, he couldn't even read it. But, so if you're squeamish, the, if there's a hole, does that mean you can't have children? Va'ahu gavra, there's a man, the Salik Ledikla. It reminds me, Mamish, I think this year a guy went up a palm tree to fetch a lulav and he fell off the tree and he died. I think it was this year, last year, one of the, Mamish, like uh, recently, a guy with a nice white beard. Not the same story, similar. The guy climbs up a palm tree. Now we know why people climb up a palm tree. You want to get a lulav or something? Turn to Ahmed. Ayn Hay Ahmed Bays, sponsored by Moshe Horn in honor of the gold star Mati Donut, sponsored anonymously in honor of Eli Shkoyach. The Charze Silva Bebeitzim, a one of those sharp uh, uh, thorns from the palm tree, got him. The Novak Minek Chut, the Mugla, and Pus came out with the Zera, Voilid. But he was able to continue having children. So you see that it's not a problem. You have a hole, you can still have children. Says Gemara. We don't believe in that. No, you got to look into this guy. Is he going to have children? So if his wife had children, they're mamzeret. Right? So you got to look into this guy. He can't have children. So if his wife had children, they're mamzeret. Omer Rav Yudam Shmuel. Petzua dako bedei shomayim kosher. If somebody became a petzua dako, and this is the the raid, what is what constitutes bedei shomayim? So Rashi says he was either born like that. Or hail fell on him. Let's say it was sun tanning and the hail that fell on my buildings. I'm not kidding. Fell on my buildings in, uh, in Indianapolis. Over 100 buildings, right? I, they showed me pictures. Baseballs. Not joking. You could die from the stuff. All the cars, all the buildings, everything in Indianapolis. In 2005, look it up. Right after I bought the properties there, everything was destroyed. So this, I don't understand exactly how it works scientifically. Thunder. From fear, from uh, like a big thunder, he became. That's B'day Shomai. Now, somebody gets in the car accident, that's B'day Adam. Some guy did it. What if it's a disease and the doctors have to take it? That's the Nida. What if the Nazis, Yimach Shumam, and they did it, and Dr. Mengele, whatever, Yimach Shumai, and whatever, I shouldn't have said his name here. It was done. So, what is that? That's because Baruch sent Rishayim to do certain things. Is that B'day Adam? There's a whole need on Ayn Shom if it's Negev to anybody. It's like uh, deer in front of the car. The what? The deer in front of the car. No? Deer in front of the car is the Shemaim. I hear. That's what I'm saying. There's different, you could, you could, right. Or maybe it's you. You were driving, you were doing, uh, ask the local rabbi. That's, that, that's, what, that's what they're talking about. So how, what, how do we view a surgery? A, a disease that came in a Shemaim and you have to do certain things to, to fix the disease. They're saying it's okay. 
it's not really B'day Adam. I, was, I thought it's B'day Adam, but they're saying not. Nah, kids are, there's a big need. Are you going to talk about it, Rabbi Shomberg? It's part of your... Different angle. Okay. Subscribe to Arham Merkaz, he says. Omar, yeah, I did want to mention, it's unbelievable, Moshe Hirsch, the amount of work that he puts in, and he doesn't get a lot of, uh, a lot of credit, a lot of uh, COVID. Moshe Hirsch, he hardly ever comes here, he lives in Yerushalayim, I think, and he works, and he has his job, but he puts it together every week, to meet him considering it's tremendous. Shkoya. Omar, Rabbi Yudam Shmuel, Petzua, Dak, Yudai, Shomayim, Kosher. Omar, Rabbi Yudam, the Karina, and Petzua, Vodai, Karina, Ha, Petzua. Petzua means it happened afterwards in his life, not Hapatsua. Hapatsua, he was born, the, the Petzua. Here he is, the guy that was born like this. It doesn't say Hap. It says Petzua. In other words, it happened afterwards, and that's the problem. But if it happens in a Shemaim, he was born like that, or thunder, etc., then uh, earthquake, whatever it is, but they Shemaim, you figure it out what it means. Now, see, Satana, Nemar lo Yovoi Petzua, Vinemar lo Yovoi Mamzer. Right afterwards, next pasuk. First it says lo Yovoi Petzua. Bekal Hashem, you can't get married. And this is Leyav and Mamzer Bekal Hashem. Mamzer can't either. Mala alam b'day Adam. Who created a Mamzer? Humans. Afkan b'day Adam. So too, the positive beforehand. It's like a hekesh. Omar Ova. Petzua bekulon. Dach bekulon. Koros bekulon. Now, there are three parts. There's the Gid, the Aver, the Beitzim, and the cords, the pipes, the spermatic cord. Says in the art scroll. The piping, all three have the ability to be patsua, which means wounded, dach, crushed, and karos is cut. Patsua, bekulon, ben shenifsa, gid, ben shenifsu, beitim, ben shenifsu, chuti, beitim. They could be wounded. Dach, bekulon, crushed, ben shenida, chagid, ben shenidhu, beitim, ben shenidhu, chuti, beitim. Cruz, bekulon, ben shenidhu, chagid. Cut, severed, bein shenichrusu beitzim, bein shenichrusu chutei beitzim. Omalei mi rabban le rava. Mimai dahi patsua daka boisi makam. Who told you talking about the reproductive system over there? Maybe you're talking about Eimah Meroshim. Maybe his head got, the Torah says, a guy that gets injured in his head, he got a whack in his head, he's in a car accident, and it's, he got a big zetz. He's a guy that, that can't get married. Who told you what we're talking about? It doesn't say gid, it doesn't say bris, it says patsua, He's injured, Daka. What does that mean? Says the Gemara, Omalei, Midlei, Monalei, Bei, Dei, Rois. Shmaimera, Bo, Yisim, Malkam. It's a type of person that can't have generations after him. He's done. He can't have children. You see over here from this Gemara, we're talking about an injury that he can't, cannot reproduce. Uh, it says, Namoini, Moyavi, even ten Dei, Rois. A mitzri, three Dei, Rois. So, Petsua, Daka, how many dairas? It doesn't say. Because there are no dairas. He's done. He's finished. That's a guy that got injured in the head. It could have generations later. Says Gemara, wait a minute. That's not a good raya. Maybe a guy that's a Petsua Daka, maybe he himself is Osir. He got injured in the head. Stone hit him in the head. Concussion. He should not get married. But his future generations are okay. So we're talking about the head, not about Oisimach. Says Gemara, no, do me the Chru Shafcha. So the word Krus Shafcha. So Krus means severed, Shafcha means to spill, the spiller. So Ma Krus Shafcha Boisimach. Obviously, what spills? Ktanim, Zera. So it's a spiller. I find Ami Baisim Makam. So when we're talking about a Daka, a, uh, a Patsu Daka, we're talking, it's just like a Kru Shafcha. Same Pasuk, same thing. It says Gemara Kru Shafcha, Gufei, Mimai Baisim Makam. Ema Mesifse. Maybe he's spilling a spit from his, so we're talking about a guy that has a split lip, let's say. He should, anybody split the lip by mistake, can't get married. It says Gemara Shafcha Ktiv, Bemakam Shashayfech. From the place that it spills. Maybe his nose, because he constantly boogers and all that comes out. Maybe 
When before he has the injury, he's mikaleach. It's a stream, strong stream. Now it's more like a, a dribble, like a, a, it spills out. From the nose, it just spills out. It's, it never comes out with a strong force. So, okay, so we know it's Boisimov. Masnisatana. Again, a certain a similar drasha. Before we're talking about it's from human beings. Over here we're saying, what makam did it come from? A mamzer comes from Moisim Makam, so too the the, the halachas of Psuadak. Nikav Lemato Meatoro Shekinegdoi Lemal Meatoro. Okay. So if just to Explain for a second. What's lamata? What's lamala? So, this is the ridge. This is an atara, and this is where it tapers down. It's like a cone. And then the rest of the git is over here. But when a person is standing up straight and he's in a, a normal person, so this is the atara, this is lamata. The end of his gid, that's lamata because it's facing the ground, it's closer to the ground. Lamala is towards his body. So, you have to remember that. When the Gemara says lamata, 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 the, the furthest part, lamata, is the end, the tip of his gid. And lamala is towards his body. So the Gemara says, what happens, interesting, so this is the, the, the gid, this is the atara. Now we said from the atara, if you remember in the Mishnah also, the atara is a ridge, a little ridge, whatever it is. From the atara to the end, to the tip, doesn't count. You don't, we don't care what happens there. It's Basar Ba'alma. Even if it gets cut off completely, He's allowed to get married. As long as there's a little bit of this atara, the ridge remains. So the Gemara wants to know what happens if he's punctured. Something like this. I don't have a, here, here's a pen. I can't puncture. But let's say it starts from where he's not allowed to be punctured. But it, it, it comes out during in that atara, where we don't care about. The, the, the end. So, Nachamol. Nikiv lemata matara. Lemata means towards the ground. The, the part I don't care about anymore. I don't care so much about. Shekinegde lemala matara. But it, it right? Uh, a nail goes through and through. Uh, a pin goes through and through. It didn't just go in one. It came out. One little hole is not enough. It seems like you need two from side to side. The, the Gemara Shaila is that one of the sides came out in a kosher place, so to speak. All this is not important, so it came out over here. What's, what's Allah? But it is in a place that it makes, renders a person a p'tu adaka. So, Savar Rebbechiyo Barab Al-Akshure. He thought they need both of the holes of this pin to be in a place where it makes it possible, which is Limala Ma'atara, towards the body, past that Tara Limala. No, since there's an invisible skin over here, whatever, and it punctured that skin towards the body, so that makes him possible. Says the Gemara of Ibn Shamru. Here, so in the Mishnah it said, if this ridge right over here, even the Mashu, even if the ridge was cut, let's say somebody sliced the ridge, but a little bit was left over. That's okay, as long as the ridge is there. So we want to know, it's the size of a hair. Does it have to be around, around, or most? Okay, I hope I can explain this. That is, that there's... This is the top of the gid. In other words, when you're looking down at the gid, you see it. And then there's the under part of it that you don't see. But the, this ridge, Bederach Klal, goes on a slant. Goes on a slant. So when he cuts, he, if he starts to cut from the top, he's looking down. He starts to cut over here. And then he does roiv, so he's okay. But if he starts it from the from the ridge on the bottom, because it's on a slant, he won't be okay. It has to be from the top, looking downwards, and not from the bottom. 
This is an interesting uh, one. Kikulmos Kshero. If he got an injury and the gid is in the shape of a quill, like a triangle almost. It's like, like a triangle. An angle. Or Kemarzev Psula. Kemarzev is like a, um, a gutter. So basically, if this is the, the, the gid, it's pressed in like this, let's say. Says the Gemara. So we have a machlaikis. They're going to say the opposite of each other. Ravuna says, if it's on an angle, cut on an angle, Kshayra, Kemarzev Psula. And the Gemara explains why. The Marzev, since it has like an indentation, so cold air could get there. And it ruins the Gemara's understanding that in order for the Zera to come out strong, it, it has to be this heat involved. And this ruins the heat. It cools it down. If it's like a gutter, it's kosher. But if it's Cut on an angle, it's possible. Why? High garid, the high like garid. The marzev is garid. So let's see, for this we need Rashi. Says Rashi, high garid. Kemarzev is garid. What does that mean? Garid shech vazera min aguf, v'shaz tashmin shum azriya, shari lo nechsar agid ma'av yoy, v'nagea b'tzid ha'arechem. Since it's nagea b'tzid ha'arechem, m'scham em emoy tzid ha'arek ha'chet, then that has, it comes out forcefully. The high like garid, the one that's kekulmos, aideishin nechsar avyai, it's missing from the width. It's a problem in the, in the, they don't come out dribbling, it won't come out strong that it could reproduce. Okay. Says Gemara, Rav Yisrael says, Rav Yisrael says, I like Rav Yisrael. Hi. What happened over here? Okay. Yeah. My computer? Oh, this guy? Well, luckily there are no uh, charts today. It's fine, I don't need it. My computer died, I think. Oh no, my computer is fine. I don't need it. You, so this thing, Baruch Hashem, it died on a day that we don't really need it. Zog the Gemara. We're almost finished here. Omar, I can say the Ravuna Mistabro. Hi, Loi Shalit. The Kumos, Sonachamo. Ravun is the one that says when it's slanty, it's kosher. When it's a gutter, it's possible. Says Rava, I like Ravuna. Why? Highly shalit ba'avira. The the kumos doesn't have ear. The high shalit ba'avira. But when it has an indentation like a like a gutter, it's no good. There's too much ear. Imishum griduso and this the svar that we saw in Rashi about gridus midah to have a bars the chaviso. So what the Gemara is saying here is that it's not important that the entire gid should be a certain circumference or width, as long as part of it is, that's enough to get the, the force that's needed for reproduction. Like, like a faucet, some part of it is wider, some part is, is not as wide, and that's okay. We pass in Allah, both of those shapes, the person is allowed to be married, just he had a question. Now, think about this for a second before the Gemara goes weiter. This is that Torah again. The question was, I want to know where the whole problem was. Was the problem from here to the end, to the tip, or from here over here? What does Lailam say? It cannot be, the Gemara, as we explained, from here to the tip is nothing. You can chop it off. You can make it any shape you want. It doesn't make a difference. It's Basa Ba'alma. So then why is he asking a question? Obviously the question is from the ridge towards the body. Okay. Says Gemara, miyu mibayle. His question was, lemata matara or lemala? What, what direction from that Torah? Towards the ground or towards the body? Says Gemara, pshita lemala matara. Of course, it's towards the body. This is okay, lemata matara. Even if you cut it off completely. So the Gemara, you're right. Very interesting. He was trying to mess up his, his Talmud. He was trying to, to see if he's holding. He's holding cup. He asked him a question. It was a trick question. He wanted him to scream, Chai v'kayom. There's no Shailah that it's okay if it happened from that Torah this way. 
says Gemara, Ahu Uvda the Havim Muslim Chasya. There's a story. The what? The guy comes in there with. It's a very interesting story. I, don't picture it, please. The, a guy comes in with a shayla. He says the gid is the shape of a marze of of a gutter. So the rav says, okay, let me see. Let me do a little procedure here. Okay, he takes it and he cuts it. I don't know how in the world he did this. He shaped it in the shape of a kumos. He went from marzev to kumos because he held like ravuna. Kumos is okay. Marzev is not okay. Takes the rabbi a knife. Plastic surgeon. I don't know how he learned it. I, I don't know if there was anesthesia. I don't know because I was at a bris with, with Dr. Factor. The guy was 20 years old. It's a situation. The bris takes, I'm not kidding. It took an hour, hour and a half. There's anesthesia. There's, you got to take those, every vein. And, and, and it's, uh, what is it? Carotid, whatever the lotion over there is. It's a whole mice. I don't know. You take an adult and chop, chop, take, uh, shape it in the shape of, I don't know how much, of, of, a, of a kolmos. Bakshire, then he's okay. Why don't we see over here that surgery's a guy's puzzle? You do a little surgery, he's kosher. When does that work? When it doesn't work, I ain't shum. I'm that 200 page safer. There was a story in Pupadisa. The tube of the Shikhva Zera got plugged up. So this is a very interesting Gemara, and it's a very, very famous Gemara because. The Chazanish says it doesn't fit into our knowledge of medicine. We understand that there's only one pipe. And the Gemara is saying there's two pipes. Sheikh Vazera pipe and Katanan pipe. And over here we have the problem that, and, and we, we learned it already, that if you, if you all those uh, Amaraim that were in the Shear, if you, you, you don't go to the bathroom, it corrupts the two pipes and then and it creates uh, cirrus. We don't understand this thing. The Chazir says, Different today. Our bodies are different. Others are mcholek. No, even in those days, there was something like this, something like that, and this. Oh, it's, a, it's commotion. So Rabbi Rabbi said, Let's make this guy kosher. Rabbi Rabbi, the son of Abaya, if you remember, Abayo was supposed to live only how many years? He lived extra 20 years because he did chesed. But he's been based Eli. I don't remember the whole sugi. What is it? He lived, he, he's, he's supposed to die at 40 because he learned Tyra. They, they usually live to 20, right? Yeah, but that was Rava, lived to 40. He lived extra 20 years. But kids are, we learned that he's, it was just recently, uh, we learned that he's from base Eli. So his son is from Beis Eli. Mishum, the Asu, Mimulai, since you come from a, like a Nebuch family, Beis Eli, Amritu, Milim Muliyasa, you say Nebuch stuff, Bimkoyma Mevashla, Shaloi Bimkoyma, Loi Mevashla. There's again the issue of heating up the Zara to make it Roi to reproduce. It's not going to, to work well if it comes out of the wrong pipe. And Mamela, this guy is possible. Love it, like all. Have a wonderful evening. Have a wonderful week. Yishkoyach all the guests. Yishkoyach everybody.